Spakey and welcome back to another LucaVision video. Now in today's video I'm going to be reviewing Latvia's entry for the 2020 Eurovision Song Contest. Today we are looking at Samantha Tina and her song Still Breathing. Now Samantha Tina won the Supernova 2020 which is Latvia's national selection. And if you guys haven't seen my reaction go and check out Eurovision Hub's reaction video right now. I can easily say it was a roller coaster of emotions. Up, down, up, down. I didn't know where I was. But today we're going to be reviewing the track and if you haven't seen these videos before what I do is I split the song down into four different categories. We have aesthetics, structure, lyrics and vocals and I'll score each category out of 10 to then get an overall score out of 40 and when the review videos are all done I make a LucaVision leaderboard. So enough jibber jabber let's get cracking. Oh boy what a category to start with. Now you can say whatever you like about the structure, but it is so exciting. My attention does not waver from start to end of the track. And to some extent, it does follow a formula with the chorus, the builds, the verses, the middle eight, but everything is just pumped to the max. There are heavy breakdowns with some sort of dubstep inflection to them. There are several catchy hooks, and that includes the builds, that includes the three backing singers and the chorus. There's a rap in there for good measure because why not? We love a bit of diversity. And there are so many different changes in pace. Every time I listen to the track, I feel like there's something new to grasp but every time and it just makes it fresh and exciting. And I feel like this could be the future of music. Watch this space. It is so exciting. This song is like six stitched into one, but at the same time, it is so coherent and the transitions are so smooth. I don't know who put this song together, but it is a masterpiece in the structure. And the musicality is just perfect. Could I praise the structure anymore? I don't think so. 10. Now when looking at the vocals, it is so tricky to get into because the song provides so many different genres and style choices of singing. Samantha has a lovely tone to her voice. We see some intentional vocal breaks. We see some really high belts whilst also maintaining a really good vibrato. However, I do need to say that sometimes the stylistic choices can be quite unpleasant on the ear. Every note she hits in the song is really harsh and she kind of attacks it and goes for it full force. So I mean, 10 out of 10 for passion, but not so much on the quality. What I would love to hear from her is a softer side to her voice so we can really see the diversity that she provides. Rather than just going at it like a drill sergeant like, Go, 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 sing that song, 100% maggot! She does, however, keep up with the genre mashup really, really well. And I don't know where she gets her breath from. Her breath support is impeccable. Her poor esophagus must be so worn out. So with all of that in mind, she is getting a lucky... Number seven! Oh, I was dreading the aesthetics category because there is just so much here that doesn't make sense. It's like... Watching the performance was like I woke up in Wonderland or some weird version of hell somewhere. Now the lyrical content that she provides doesn't match the staging or the weird kind of gangster chicken dancing. And I'd, I'm really not entirely sure what the head visors and the spray bottles are all about. Gardening? It's just all so random! Yet at the same time this could be a stylistic choice and it could try to coincide with Let's be honest, technically the song genre and the mashup is all over the place. So maybe the staging is trying to replicate that? I suppose it really depends on how you look at it. But what I do love is that the heavy breakdown matches the strobe lighting. It's just, it's like a huge rave. But if I ever go out with Samantha Tina and she dances like that at a rave, I think I'm gonna go to the next bar. So considering all of the conflicting themes here, I'm a bit on the fence. The only consistency really is red. There's a lot of red going on. I'm gonna have to score the aesthetics. A five. Middle of the road for me. Lyrics my fave, yes! Now lyrically, this track isn't too groundbreaking or too deep. We have seen this sort of thing before. Easy to grasp and they really do paint a picture of Samantha's mindset and how she's feeling. And I applaud her for making such an empowerment anthem. She is reinforcing that we all control our own destiny. And with every knockback that we face, we can get up and still keep going, keep pushing, keep reaching for them stars. 
It's kind of like a modern day Nelson Mandela speech. And I feel like this is something that we should be passing down to generations to come. If you get a knockback, if you fall over, get up and try again. So with that being said, like with every review video, here is Luke's lovesome lyric. Strong enough to take it, I'm gonna make it. Destiny is in my hands. Strong, independent and fierce. It's just a shame to me that there's not much flair or artistry or deepness within the lyrics. It's all quite face value. So with that being said, I'm gonna be scoring the lyrics. A six. So there we have it, that is my review over and my final score for Samantha Tina Still Breathing is... That's right, 28 out of 40. But that's just my opinion. What did you guys think? Please give me all of your top 10s down below and your overall score out of 40. I love seeing all of your opinions and the diversity within your comments. So go ahead, comment down below. Join in the conversation. But what I wanna know is, are you behind Latvia this year? If you are, please give this video a great big thumbs up so I can have a little look and compare how many subscribers of mine are supporting Latvia this year. To be fair, I think they stand a great chance of qualifying and I would love to see that in the final. Just think of how they could stage it. That would be a moment. And before you shoot off anywhere, don't you forget to hit that subscribe button and the cheeky little bell notification button. And you can keep up to date with all of the videos that I have to bring you this year. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves and stay safe. Ardievas, see ya, bye!